How much is your self-esteem worth to you? Could your self-esteem use a little pick-me-up maybe? If that's the case, know that you are not alone. In fact, I think it's fair to say that many of us have been there at some point in time. It's like a heavy burden, isn't it? It's like we're carrying around this constant companion that whispers doubt and criticises our thoughts. Doubting our abilities, questioning our worth and even shying away from opportunities that can really benefit our personal growth. Not only that, it can cast a shadow over our personal relationships, our professional relationships and hinder the connections that we have with other people and most importantly, the connection that we have with ourselves. But the good news is, yes, I do have good news, is that it does not have to be this way. Hi, if you are new to me, I am Teresha Young, Relationship Master Coach and welcome to Relationship Talk. And today I'm going to be delving into the topic of self-esteem because self-esteem is like the compass to our emotional world. It's about how much we value ourselves. It's about how confident we are. It's about how worthy we feel. And it's not about being perfect or comparing ourselves to other people. It's about embracing our uniqueness and acknowledging that we are worthy yes we are worthy of all of our heart desires so now i am going to share with you seven easy habits to improve self-esteem the first habit is to practice stress reducing techniques now what does this look like because we can quite easily go straight to the mindset which is so important it is equally we need to connect with the body by regulating our nervous system So techniques such as deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, maybe even mindfulness meditation can help to calm the mind and the body because that can feel like the glue that connects them both. Now take a moment throughout the day to regularly practice these exercises, particularly the breathing techniques. Not only does it help you to manage stress, anxiety, doubt, worry, it contributes to a more positive and balanced mental state and that can improve your self-esteem and boost your confidence. The second one which follows really closely to the first one is to take care of your body by engaging in regular exercising, movement, get your steps in daily, prioritise nutritious meals and ensure that you are getting enough rest and sleep too because a healthy body contributes to a positive self-image. The third tip is set smart goals because being able to transform your heart desires and your goals and your aspirations into smart goals which is an acronym it is specific measurable achievable realistic or relevant and time bound by being able to make it a smart goal you are able to track progress more easily so chunk down the goal you might have that final destination but chunk it down into smaller steps and milestones because the journey is also to be witnessed and tracked too so acknowledge and celebrate each milestone too no matter how minor it may seem to you because it sends positive reinforcement to your mind that I've done it and I can keep going and that boosts your confidence and your self-esteem too. The fourth one is to create a habit of using positive affirmations and practicing gratitude daily. So start your day with positive affirmations, affirming your strengths and your capabilities, because these affirmations can gradually reshape your self-perception over time. And also take time to reflect upon the things that you are grateful for each day. Because when we can focus on the positive aspects of our life, of our situations, of our connections and our relationships, we create a sense of appreciation and when we create a sense of appreciation for ourselves because remember to appreciate yourself you have to be grateful for the aspects of yourself too it reinforces your self-worth the fifth habit is to surround yourself with positivity so take stock and evaluate the people and the environments in your life surround yourself with people who uplift you and support you and equally you do the same too Now, for those people who you don't feel that they uplift you or support you or they just don't make you feel so good about yourself at all, reflect upon how you can manage your time and your energy around those people. Because when we can cultivate a positive atmosphere, it fosters personal growth and our confidence and thus impacts 
on our self-esteem. The sixth habit is to help other people. Volunteering or offering assistance to others can boost your self-esteem because it creates a sense of purpose and also connection. We as humans are wired to connect and acts of kindness not only benefits those around you, it also contributes to your own feelings of fulfillment and worthiness too. Now the seventh habit is to learn and grow. Embrace a continuous learning and growth mindset because often when we lack self-esteem it's because we have a fixed mindset and we feel so resigned to where we are in life we just feel stuck and have no hope but when we can actually develop a growth mindset we can boost our confidence and see the opportunity for growth and now what that looks like might be acquiring new skills new knowledge and also just stepping outside of your comfort zone because when we step outside of our comfort zone we allow ourselves to evolve and then we give ourselves the scope to be able to do something new we like to be have something new in our life embrace a newness embrace curiosity what can you explore about yourself about your environments have that growth mindset and take the learning from your experiences now sometimes if you receive perceived criticism see what you can do in terms of the feedback you get from it can you actually turn that feedback into something constructive how can you grow from that in actual fact could you do something different what could you stop start continue doing perhaps when it comes to the feedback that you had or the supposedly critique there's always an opportunity to learn something there's always an opportunity to grow and there's also an opportunity to even acknowledge that you did well in that situation i did well i handled that well and that can help to boost your self-esteem Remember, all that I've shared with you, document it if you can. Appreciate all of these different habits. Document daily what you have done because it builds up your evidence that you've got this and that you can actually build your self-esteem and continue to grow. Now, those are it. Those are the seven easy habits to help to improve self-esteem. Because you have the power to shape your narrative. The small changes that we make in our daily lives can lead to significant transformation over time. If you found these habits helpful, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and a like, show some love on it, because you're also going to want to check out another video that I did. I think it's going to be really helpful because it aligns with this one. It's on how to increase self-respect, where I delve into self-awareness, into setting boundaries and also having self-compassion. Do check that one out. It's in the series of these relationship talk episodes that I have been doing for you. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on self-esteem. What areas of self-esteem could you work on? please let me know, drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you would like some more direct, personal, one-on-one -on -one assistance when it comes to personal self-esteem, then please do reach out for me. I am more than happy to have a chat with you. You can visit my website, www.tarishayoung.com. And also you can find me on social media platforms. Send me a DM as Teresha Young. Now, remember that love is your essence. Confidence is your superpower and you are the bold navigator of your extraordinary journey of love, life and relationships. Until the next video, take great care of yourself and others too.